Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And the kingdom, the power, and the glory for us. Amen. I ask you to keep your heads bowed in prayer for a moment of silence as you remember our Lord one Bruce in your own particular way. You want to go first? You want me to go? You all go? All right. Uh, I'll be brief. Um, I look around, and uh, it's fantastic to see so many faces out here, friends, family. Uh, it's, been, it's been a good ride for Dad. It was a very good ride for Dad. You know, today would have been, been his 75th birthday, uh, and as you all know, his birthday was a time to celebrate. And uh, that's what we wanted today to be, was a celebration of his life and a celebration with our friends and family. And uh, I know that, you know, I'm hoping that we get to see a lot of you folks uh, at brunch uh, after where we can share uh, more stories with each other and celebrate his life together. Um, and uh, that's it. So thank you all so much coming down today and uh, look forward to sharing stories and celebrating. Thank you, everyone. I love you all. We love you, Frank. We love you, John. He was the best. One of a kind. He was one of a kind. He <laughs> sure was. Look at all these people. Thank you all so much. Your friendship and your love over the years has been just, just makes my heart so strong. Now let's go to half the party. <laughs> 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 yeah, he not like small talk. He just wanted to go right to the action. <laughs> My ad libs. Don't worry, it's oh, large print. Oh, <laughs> wait a minute. It's large print and I'm blind. I met Bruce almost 57 years ago at BU. Together with Guy Prater, Jim Marshall, we forged a friendship for the ages. Untouched by education, we traveled to the dugout, our infamous Beacon Street apartment, and we played wiffle ball everywhere. Bruce's style, his sense of humor, and his love of adventure made him a magnet of good times for us. Over time, our friendship would see him go to Vietnam, finish his education at UMass Amherst, and make his way from Sellers Farm to Peregrine White Farm. All this time, his friend and his partner, Donna, would be at his side. Wiffle Ball would take us from Dorchester to exotic Wampatuck. And finally, to need him for years of opening days with family and friends. My son Mark commented upon hearing of Bruce's passing. I look forward to his pitching a wiffle ball at my head in heaven. <laughs> Mark, a physician, wrote that if there is one thing Donna and Maddie need to understand, it is that their great care gave Bruce respite. Their love was a gift beyond anything medicine could achieve. Medicine would never have predicted how long or how well Bruce would have survived without their gentle hands for his guidance. What Donna and Maddie and the family did, Mark wrote, reached far beyond where medicine fails. As best man to Bruce and Donna, I can attest to their love and dedication to each other and to Bruce's pride in his son, Maddie, his delight in his daughter-in-law, Shay, and his love for his grandchildren, Tyler and Devin. <clears throat> Bruce had pictures of his family and friends at his bedside when we visited him last. He loved looking at the picture of Tyler and Devin. With a sweet smile, Bruce would tell us how much he loved him. During our last visits, we talked about our past, our families, and our friends. We told stories of BU, Dodgeester, Marshfield, and Monument. We remembered the fun, we laughed, and we played music. As I look back over the years, I was truly blessed to have Bruce as my friend. 
happy heavenly birthday.